Aloha and welcome to my video blog. I need to warn you, if you hear any sheep in the background, they're not mine. I actually have a state forest reserve right in the back over here and there's a nice big herd of sheep. And if the kids were here, we'd go to the backyard and it's like a free zoo where I live. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Anyway, let's get into our video blog here. I wanted to talk about conflicting information. It's a question that I get in my trainings and I've received a couple of questions from Haumanna students about how do I deal with conflicting information? One teacher says this, another teacher says that. Which one's right? Matt, you said A and so and so said B. Are you right or are they right? Well, look, here's the deal. You're going to pretty much get conflicting information because at a certain level of detail, a certain level of information, you're not going to be able to find an agreement. When you get from an NLP term, chunked down and specific, you're going to find argument, you're going to find a debate, you're going to find differences. You cannot help but find differences. So the first thing is the more detailed you get, the more likely you are to hear or see or experience these conflicting pieces of information. The second thing is, is that there is an infinite amount of information in the universe. It's a basic principle of almost spir every spiritual path. Because of that, you're usually going to fly find conflicting information as well. So. Uh, let's take diet, for example, and exercise. Man, something that I have done a lot of time to research. Open up one book and it says you should only be eating protein. You open up another book and it says you should only be eating carbs. Open up another book and it says you should be a vegan. Open it up another one and it says you should be a meditarian. And you know what? Across the board, these people will have uh, research, they will have statistics, they will have case studies, they will have people that, this group of people over here, they're the healthiest because they eat this. Been there, done that. I've seen it, I've heard it all. How about exercise? Great book that I'm reading right now that was recommended to our other trainer, uh, Nicholas. He, Nicholas Rave recommended Body by Science. I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful book. I also recommend reading any book that tells you you should work out seven days a week or those programs that you can get online. I don't know, some of them are insane. What is it called? Insanity interesting name, where you work out, I guess, at such high intervals that literally it takes your body and just puts it into this high-powered physical state of being. Well, how come insanity works and how come body by science where you work out at a minimalist effort, how come both of them work? Well, both of them work because so many people have a different body. So here's what you do with conflicting information. First of all, you need to resolve the conflict in your mind. There's one of two ways of doing this. The first way to resolve the conflict is to find a higher connection. NLP terms, chunk up, HUNA concept, come up to a higher level where these two ideas are connected. You know what? This workout program and that workout program are both attempting to help people to get healthy. Great, you've made a connection now. Then which one works for you? Old book that I read, uh, very helpful in my path, Eat Right for Your Blood Type. By the way, the whole thing didn't fit for me. I'm an O blood type. I went on the O blood type diet and not all of the foods worked for me. It helped me to figure out what foods worked for me. I've had people recommend other diets to me. Been there, done that, tried it. And you know what? Certain things work, certain things don't work. So when you have conflicting information, the first thing is resolve it by finding a higher connection, by chunking up, finding that higher purpose. And the second thing is you have to find the thing that resonates with you. You know what? I'm reading Body by Science and guess what? Tons of good information in there and I know how my body responds to workouts. I know what type of workout that I need to do. So I'm taking in that information, I'm making adjustments and yet I'm not going to incorporate everything in that book or everything in another book. I know me. I know what diet works for me. I know what exercise routine works for me. I know what set of tools and techniques work for me. This is why I teach NLP. I get people that come up to me all the time. Hey Matt, how come you don't teach this technique or that technique? It's not that I don't like it. It's not that it's different than what I teach. I teach NLP because that works for me. I found it to be the most effective thing on the planet for me and the people that I teach it to, it seems to resonate for them. Do other things work? Are there other things out there? Of course there are. And you have to pick what resonates with you and stick with it. Just because you find what resonates with you doesn't mean that those other things are right or wrong. Don't fall into that trap. Please stay out of that trap. And that trap of 
this diet works for me, it has to work for everyone. Look, if one diet worked for everyone, we would have figured it out by now. If one pill worked for everyone, we would have figured it out by now. So here's the deal. You ready? Conflict occurs, find the connection, and in addition to that, find out what works for you on your path in the future. Hope that helps. Let's wrap up the blog as we always do. Malama Pono, we all stand in righteousness. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be your best. And aloha, ahuiho, class dismissed. Love you all.